Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Well, I went to the farmer's market today and I bought a braid of organic garlic and I have peeled all these cloves, so I want to dehydrate them. So I have two dehydrator trays here with the mesh because you know garlic is known to be sticky and everybody asks me when they see me use this I got this at the dollar store I'm I'm serious the dollar store I know and this is a slice this is a slicing blade and it actually does really well on garlic watch this I haven't done this in a long time because I've been getting lazy and buying granulated garlic from Costco but you know what I'm doing my best to support local farmers and this is getting dehydrated into flakes for my dehydrated soup stuff I'm always going to have a jar I vowed this year that I was not going to buy the dehydrated soup vegetables from the bulk barn because it's really expensive so this may be expensive but I know exactly what's going into it so I'm going to be making a soup jar with all my dehydrated vegetables and seasonings in it so that when I want to make soup I don't have to do a whole bunch of jars I just have to do one and grab a cup full and throw it in my soup and garlic is one of those things. Look at it. It's like it's like slivered almonds or, or sliced almonds or whatever. I uh I may not even need two trays. If not, I will put the other tray on the bottom for the simple reason is is it's better for your dehydrator tray to have an extra an empty one on the bottom if you're only using one tray. really does a bang up job my hands are sticky from garlic yeah I'm gonna do another tray it won't be much but it'll be just enough for my vegetable mix my seasoned vegetable mix you'll know what I'm talking about for now everything I dehydrate is gonna go into its own jars until I know exactly what I have at the end of the harvest so that I can mix and match at will and this is the last few cloves I saved two more heads of garlic because I'm still making pickles so just open this up make sure every last bit of garlic is out of here spread it out that's not anything wrong that's just a bit of purple vein in the garlic this is really strong garlic all right let's go to the porch okay so here's our two trays of garlic so just gonna put the dehydrator on here the dehydrator top now it says jerky meats fish fruit and vegetables nuts seeds herbs and spices I'm not sure if this is a vegetable or an herb. Well, an herb would be... Okay, so we're going to put it on fruits and vegetables, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. It's been about 24 hours because it's been quite damp. But here is our organic garlic. And I'm going to be leaving this in flakes for the simple reason is I am going to be making up a half gallon jar of plain soup mix veg that I can just grab and throw. And I like my garlic when I go put it in my soup to be nice and big and flavorful. There's not much, but trust me, with fresh dehydrated organic garlic, 
there really doesn't need to be much. By God, it's fall weather today. Hey, Gracie, did you have your babies? Did you go pooping? And then these all have to come in the house. All these trays have to be come, come in now and be washed because now we're working on peppers. I love my farmer's market. I don't want any one piece of this to be lost. So I got a pint jar. Mm. So I got a pint jar of fresh dehydrated organic garlic slices. That's going to take up my soups, sauces, and casseroles to a new level this winter. Dehydrated organic garlic. Yummy! Take care. God bless.